Are we prepared to go down in history as the next generation of Americans who did what we had to do to ensure that this exceptional place remained that way? Or will we go down as the first Americans ever to leave our children worse off? I think I know which choice the Americans and Floridians are about to make. You see, every single one of us here today can track our lineage back to somebody who came from somewhere else. Now maybe it was just a generation ago, maybe it was four generations ago, but every single one of us descended from somebody who could not be who God meant them to be in the nation of their birth. And so they came here to the only place in human history where anyone from anywhere can accomplish anything. And the great cause of our time is to preserve this nation for the next generation in that way. And that's what the selection is about. If we stay on the road that Washington has us on right now, we will lose our exceptionalism. We will lose that make the things that make us special and unique. This is not about who's in charge from a personality standpoint. This is nothing personal against anyone in politics. But the people who are running this country in Washington, D.C. are wrong. The road they have us on is a wrong road. Our economy's not creating jobs. You know why? Because politicians don't create jobs. Jobs are created by everyday people from all walks of life who start a business or expand an existing business. And the job of government is to make it easier for them to do that, not harder. But that's not what they're doing. Our government cannot continue to spend more money than, take, than it takes in. Or soon we will face a Greece-like day of reckoning. And the world is a, is a safer place when our country, the United States of America, is the strongest country in the world. But the road that Washington has us on right now will rob us of these things. And so I, begin, I end where I began the speech, by telling you what the choice is here in Florida. If you like the direction that Washington is taking us, I am not your candidate. I am running for the U.S. Senate because I think Washington is wrong. I want to stand up to what they're offering, and I want to offer in its place a clear alternative. A clear alternative that will leave my children and yours what they deserve. What they deserve to inherit. It, what you and I inherited. What every American before them has inherited. And what we will make sure the next generation of Americans inherit. The single greatest society in all of human history. I need your help to get there. Seventy days from today, we'll be back here, or maybe in even a, in a bigger room. <laughs> and God willing, on that day, we will be able to announce that we have won this race for the U.S. Senate. <laughs> and let me tell you what that will mean. That will not be the fulfillment of some personal childhood dream of mine, nor will it be the end of some political campaign. It will ensure at least one thing, that if there is at least one voice in Washington who is standing up to this agenda and saying that we must, once again must get back to the policies that allow the private sector and the job creators to create jobs, it will be your voice here from Florida. If there's at least one voice in the U.S. Senate that says very clearly we cannot continue to borrow money from our children's future to fund the bad ideas of today's leaders. That voice will be from Florida. If there will be at least one voice in Washington, D.C. saying very clearly that the world is a safer and better place when America is the strongest country in the world, it will be that voice, your voice from Florida. That if there will at least be one person in Washington, D.C. standing up to this agenda and offering in its place a clear alternative, it will be me, your voice from right here in Florida. We have 70 days of work left to do. I'm confident the next time we're back here together, we'll be claiming victory once again. Thank you.